Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Since moving to California in March, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been vocal in encouraging people to vote, as the U.S. went to the polls for the presidential election, though in the wake of Joe Biden's victory the pair have kept silent. They seem to be keeping themselves politically neutral in keeping with their former royal positions, which may be particularly difficult for them, because the royal couple has some solid history with the president election, his wife and the new vice president election. In fact, Prince Harry once fielded quite a cheeky comment from the soon-to-be president about his close friendship with wife Dr. Jill Biden. The trio have met many times over the years thanks to their involvement in the Invictus Games which Dr. Biden first attended while Joe was still the vice president of the States, in 2014. While his wife was in the UK for the Games that year, then Vice President Joe joked to The Guardian about becoming concerned at Harry and Jill's proximity. He said at the time, My wife was with Prince Harry at the Invictus Games. And I read in The Guardian, or one of them, and it says, I'm paraphrasing, everywhere Prince Harry went, he had this blonde woman on his arm. The vice president's wife. I'm a little worried here, you know what I mean. The hysterical jab wasn't a one-off either, two years later he referred again to his so-called red-headed rival joking that his wife had spent too much damn time with Prince Harry. Prince Harry has forged a good friendship with Joe and Jill Biden over the years, and the president-elect and his wife have been to the Invictus Games on several occasions. One of the key things they have in common is the military, which Harry is passionate about. Harry spent 10 years in the British Army, during which time he served in Afghanistan. After he left, the prince created the Invictus Games having been inspired by the Warrior Games in the US, which he saw in 2013. The Biden's son Beau, who died in 2015, was a major in the US military and Dr. Jill Biden referred to the bond she shared with military moms. At an event held at the White House during Harry's 2013 tour of the United States, Dr. Biden said, I feel a special bond with other military moms. I'll never forget the day that Bo deployed to Iraq. It was that mixture of pride and concern that military moms know all too well, right? Having Bo overseas was a tough year for our entire family, but it was especially difficult for my daughter-in-law Holly, my granddaughter Natalie, and our grandson Hunter. Harry, Dr. Biden and Michelle Obama met military families throughout the afternoon at the event. Dr. Biden then attended the 2014 Games and took her husband with her when the Games were held in Toronto in 2016. At the 2017 Games, which was a reunion for Obama and Biden, Dr. Biden tweeted that she was thrilled to be there with Harry and others. As well as Harry's link to Joe and Jill Biden, Meghan has won the support of Kamala Harris, the new vice president-elect. Harris shared videos of Meghan and offered her support, particularly when Meghan spoke about the death of George Floyd. In 2019, before Harry and Meghan had stepped back from their senior royal duties, Harris praised Meghan's emotion in the iconic South African interview. When Meghan thanked reporter Tom Bradby for asking if she was okay and said life in the spotlight while pregnant had been a struggle. Retweeting the post from biographer Omid Scabi, Harris said, Meghan, we are with you. In August, Meghan held a chat with Gloria Steinem, long-term activist, and the pair praised the idea that Harris could become vice president. Steinem said, the heart of the Democratic Party has been black women, actually, and now there is a potential vice president who is black and that's exciting. Meghan replied, I'm so excited to see that kind of representation. You know, for me, being biracial, growing up, whether it was a doll or a person in office, you need to see someone who looks like you in some capacity. As many of us believe, you can only be what you can see. And in the absence of that, how can you aspire to something greater than what you see in your own world? I think maybe now we're starting to break through in a different way. Harry and Meghan kept their pre-election comments largely about democracy and voting itself and did not endorse one candidate over another. However, their statements were viewed as supportive of the Democrats, in part because Meghan previously called Donald Trump, who was the Republican candidate and running for re-election divisive. Another report. It is a day that honors military veterans who have served in the United States Armed Forces. Meghan and Harry are both the USO veterans. The United Service Organization supports military service members and military families. Long before Meghan met Harry, she was very involved in supporting the military. In 2014, Meghan visited five countries as part of the USO Chairman's Holiday Tour. Meghan visited five countries during that tour, Spain, Italy, Turkey, Afghanistan and England helping to entertain thousands of service members and their families. Meghan said, I have always had such a profound respect for our nation's troops and military families. I cannot thank them enough for everything they do for us.
In 2013, Harry, then still an active duty British soldier, attended the Warrior Games in Colorado Springs. The games, which were co-sponsored that year by the USO. Then in 2015, Harry stopped by the USO Warrior and Family Center on Fort Belvoir in Virginia alongside joining forces co-founders Michelle Obama and Dr. Jill Biden. Another analysis. The truth about Meghan Markle's relationship with Catherine McPhee. Catherine McPhee publicly revealed her pregnancy on Oct 8, 2020, prompting congratulations from all over the world and World Wide Web. Perhaps one of the most unexpected sources of congratulations came from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The royal couple took Catherine and her husband, record producer David Foster, out to dinner in Montecito, California the same day the news of the pregnancy made headlines. While the foursome may seem like a somewhat random squad, they all have fairly long histories with each other. For starters, David is reportedly something of a surrogate father to Harry and has served as a source of comfort and normalcy as the prince moved to California from the United Kingdom. It turns out, however, that Meghan and Catherine also have a long history, dating back before either of them were famous and were growing up together in California, dreaming of a life making it in Hollywood. Catherine McPhee and Meghan Markle went to school together. Before American Idol, before Suits, before marriages and divorces and remarriages, Catherine McPhee and Meghan Markle were kids in California attending school together. Catherine shared a photo on Instagram in January 2019 of herself and Meghan in a school musical back in the day, joking. She grew up to be the Duchess of Sussex and I grew up to star on the West End, so same life if you ask me. Catherine gave more of the story to people, saying, she was actually in my sister's class, two years older than me. I did the shows with her when I was a 7th grader or 8th grader. She then added, I don't know if there are videos of her singing, but she's a really good singer. The two are even closer now than they were back then, not only going to dinner together with their husbands, but also reportedly planning to spend Christmas 2020 together. Early in October 2020, the Duke and Duchess will be welcoming Catherine and David Foster into their home for the holidays, explaining that Meghan very much wants to host the first Christmas at their new home, adding that she's really excited and is planning on doing all the traditions she grew up with as a child, including the cooking. It seems like Meghan and Catherine are going to be friends for the long haul and might even be raising their children alongside each other. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, Please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle commemorated Remembrance Day in the US while his family marked the holiday across the pond. Harry and Meghan privately visited the Los Angeles National Cemetery on Sunday. Remembrance Sunday is celebrated in the UK as a day to commemorate the contribution of British and Commonwealth military and civilian servicemen and women in the two world wars and later conflicts. It takes place on the second Sunday in November. It was important to the couple to personally recognize remembrance in their own way to honor those who have served and those who gave their lives. Harry and Meghan laid flowers that she picked from their garden at the gravesites of two Commonwealth soldiers, one who had served in the Royal Australian Air Force and one from the Royal Canadian Artillery. They also placed a wreath at an obelisk in the cemetery that features a plaque that's inscribed in memory of the men who offered their lives in deference of their country. Harry signed a message with the wreath reading, to all of those who have served and are serving. Thank you. Meghan and Harry both wore masks when in the close vicinity of other people on Sunday, but removed them when on their own or at a distance. Harry served in the army for 10 years, undertaking the tours of Afghanistan, where he served as a captain before rising to become a major. He holds the ranks of major, lieutenant commander and squadron leader. It was on his return from service that he was inspired to create the Invictus Games, which is just one of the military and veteran charities he continues to work with and support. Meghan, meanwhile, joined a USO tour to support the troops before meeting Harry. She visited six countries including Afghanistan. Her grandfather, Alvin Ragland, served in the US Coast Guard. Harry and Meghan both sported Remembrance Day poppy pins for their outing, which his family members also wore back in the UK. Senior members of the family, including Queen Elizabeth II, Kate Middleton, Prince William, Prince Charles, and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, all attended a public outdoor, socially distanced event at the Cenotaph War Memorial in the heart of central London, on Sunday. 
Charles and William placed wreaths at the memorial in military uniform while the Queen, Kate, and Camilla all watched from a balcony. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.